So you're interested in finding out some more information about computing science. At West Island School we offer computing science at higher level and standard level. Do you like to solve problems? Do you enjoy the thrill of finally cracking a problem? Are you of a logical and organised mindset? Then computing science is for you if you can answer yes to those sort of questions. There is a lot of misconceptions about computing science. Some people think that computing science is for computer nerds only. Well, to be honest, we want people that have more than one interest. And the reason for that is you need to be able to understand and solve lots of problems. And if you've got a very narrow mindset, well then you're not going to have a lot of experience at understanding different things. Some people think to, to do computer science you have to have done ICT at a GCSE level. Well it's good, but as A we're phasing out ICT at GCSE level, to be honest it's really more important that you're good at maths when you're doing programming. And the computer science course is a lot about programming. Some people think that the software we use is really, really expensive. Well, it's not. It's free. It has to be. The IBO um, makes us or dictates to us what software we use. So we use Java, which is a freeware application. Why would you want to choose computer science? Well, if you're interested in a career in software development or computing engineering, doing computer science at IB is a really good start for those sort of careers. Perhaps you're more interested in a mathematical based career, but you don't sort of want to have to do further maths, but you want something, you know, a little bit more interesting than a pure maths course at IB. And you're interested in a business career, but you also want to understand how computer systems support businesses. A lot of students at university combine business and computing, which is a really great combination. If you do computer science, you get a head start on the computing side of things. So what's the difference between standard level and higher level? Both do a lot of software development. Both do fundamentals of computer systems and both look at the relationships between computing systems and society. Higher level students do the extended stuff, the computer mathematics, the logic, the advanced data structure. It is for those people that are really good at maths, to be perfectly honest. If you wouldn't consider doing higher level maths, then you shouldn't consider doing higher level computer science. So what are Mr. Lewis and I looking for in computer science students? Well, if you didn't get a B at higher level maths in your GCSEs, then honestly, you're, not, you're going to really struggle with computer science. You have to be interested in computer programming. Why? Because over half the course is computer programming. So if you're not interested in computer programming, it's really not for you. You have to be able to understand problem solving because that's what programming is. It's about developing software solutions to problems. You've got to be able to break down and analyze problems. Whilst you don't need previous programming experience, you really need to get be willing to dive into it head first these summer holidays. And to be honest, you need to be that kind of person that will stick out a problem, really, really work hard, not give up, and just love that thrill and that satisfaction of finally solving a problem. Will the computer science course run next year? Okay, it's running in year 13, but not year 12 this year. Well, if we get minimum numbers, we'll run a normal class at West Island School. What you need to be aware of is that the teachers across the ESF are trying to put together a proposal for an online course to run. And we're not quite sure of the details. It might be with KG5 or it might be with some of the other schools if they don't get their minimum numbers. But we're looking at an online alternative. Where do you go for more information? See Mr Lewis. He's the head of ICT.